Hey friends, it's Natalie, and for December, I decided it was time to do another Skittle TBR game. So let's jump in. I really enjoy making these Skittle TBR videos, and a lot of my students love them as well, but I cannot take credit for its creation. Yes, I made this board, but it was inspired by Current Chapter and her Eminem TBR game, which she graciously let me copy. So the way the game works, I pick two Skittles. The first Skittle will tell me where this arrow goes. The second Skittle will tell me where this arrow goes, and it will lead me to a prompt that will prompt me to a booked, and then I will put that on my December TBR. So let's get started. All right, you're not looking. The first Skittle is a, ooh, a yellow. The second Skittle is a, blue and the prompt is pretty cover oh i have lots of books with pretty covers this might be a little hard i'm gonna go with kingdom of the wicked i think it is a very beautiful cover and i love that it has purple roses along the top and even the uh title is kind of in a lavender purpley color and check out the actual pages isn't that cool from what I have heard and what I've read in the synopsis, this book is about two sisters who are twins and one of them is murdered and the other one is out for revenge and they also happen to be witches. But in order to find her sister, it looks like she's going to have to dabble into some very dark magic. So very excited that I was able to pick this for this month's reading. All right, one down, seven to go. I'm going to pick eight books to give myself a little wiggle room. I'll probably read about four or five of the eight, and I need to replace this prompt. I'm gonna replace it with urban fantasy. Some people call it urban fantasy. Some people call it magic realism, but basically it is fantasy that is occurring on Earth and not a made up world. All right, so let's see what happens. Green, and the next skittle is orange and going across ooh interesting interesting prompt the prompt is there must be a weapon on the cover let's see what we can find my goodness that took forever but i finally found one i found the book the princess will save you the princess will save you it came in one of my book boxes and from what i understand it is a retelling of the princess bride but in this one i guess the girl or the princess is going to be the hero so i've heard some good things i'm hoping it's good because that's what i picked all right let's replace that prompt i'm going to replace it with gold on the spine i actually have quite a few books now that have gold on the spine all right skittle picking time this time i'm picking green and i'm picking it's already on green i'm picking purple meeting that one which gives us booktube rex which means booktube recommendations a book that i've seen recommended by many booktubers this should be probably a lot easier to find than that weapon on the cover i think i'm going to go with this mortal coil i've been hearing about this book ever since I've started watching book two. So from what I understand, in this book, the main character is Katarina, and we are in an age, I'm assuming in the future, where we have figured out technology where we can alter our DNA to look in any way that we want. And Katarina, who I guess is also known as Kat, is some kind of a gene hacking genius, and her father was a doctor of genetics, but I guess all this, you know, all this people who are like taking their DNA and rearranging it and changing it to look or be whatever they want has somehow caused a huge plague that has like knocked out a big portion of the population from what I understand. So this sounds very sci-fi and I've definitely been into sci-fi lately. So I'm hoping this is as good as I think it might be. And now we must replace the prompt. And I'm going to replace that prompt with the prompt, scary. A book that might scare me a little bit. I like to be scared when I'm reading. All right, skittle picking time. Ooh, purple, can you see that, purple? And orange, oh, okay. I have the prompt little book and I definitely wanted to put that on the board because I actually have quite a few little books that I purchased in the last six months and uh, I wanted to have a prompt for them. Which one should I pick though, that's the question. All right, I'm gonna go with Zero Day. It's not the smallest book that I have, but I definitely would put it on the smallish side of things. 
Um, according to the back of this book, uh, eight years ago, Addie Webster was the victim of the most notorious kidnapping of the decade. Wow, she must be really important. Um, she vanishes, and her high-profile parents are forced to move on. I believe, is this the book that I did a book haul and I said her dad became president? Yes, her dad becomes president, and then she returns. But people are very, you know, concerned. Why is she returning now? Is there something, you know, bad going on? Is she here to disrupt things? And I think she's going to be a threat to national security. So this sounds really good. I'm glad I'm going to finally have an excuse to read this one. All right, four down, four to go. Let me replace the prompt. And I'm going to replace it with shiny title. I think I had shiny cover before, but we're going to have a shiny title prompt. All right, what will the Skittles choose this time? I've got a red. And I've got a green. At some point, my arrow fell off. Okay, red and green. Ooh. And there goes my arrow again. We'll get that in a minute. Let's see what the prompt is. New TBR, so one of my newer buys. I'm going to go with Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer. This recently came out, like pretty recently. If you're not sure who Marissa Meyer is, she's the one who did the Lunar Chronicles. She did, uh, what was that book about the Queen uh, Heartless? I'm pretty sure it was Heartless. And this is her first dive into a contemporary kind of book. From what I've read, the main character is Prudence and she is a very judgmental person and somehow she acquires the ability to put and set karma onto people that she thinks deserve to have karma happen to them. I guess if she sees somebody doing something bad, she you know somehow sets karma so that they have bad karma come back to them, something like that. And it says at first she's very giddy with power, but then her powers don't work against her lazy lab partner, Quint. And uh, we'll see where that goes. Why don't her powers work against Quint? What's so special about Quint? I don't know, but if I find out, I will let you know. All right, let's replace this prompt. We're going to replace it with a repeat author, an author I've read before. I have quite a few books that are repeat author books. All right, skittle time. I'm picking purple. And I am picking orange. All right. Hopefully this will stay. You naughty, naughty arrow that doesn't want to stay. What does that give me? Oh, this is one of the more recent props I put up. Shiny title. Let's see what we can find. I don't know if you guys can really tell if it's gonna really show up on the uh, video, but it is a bit, have a sparkle to it, or shine. That's why I said shine, I didn't say sparkle, shine. And this has definitely got a bit of shine on the cover. This is the new um, V.E. Schwab book, The Invisible, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I believe Addie LaRue has some kind of a curse that whoever she meets, they don't remember her. And I mean, that sounds pretty sad. It says she passes through lives for 300 years, so I don't know if she's like immortal or something, and maybe being immortal the price is that nobody remembers you, or she's like living numerous lives and we have a reincarnation situation going on. I'm not really sure. I just know that at some point after a long time, somebody actually remembers her, and that's what the story, I guess, is going to be kind of about, is why is this one person remembering her when nobody else does? But a lot of people seem to really enjoy this one, so I am excited to give it a try. And this is, a, I think, an exclusive cover. I wish I could tell you what book box it was from, but it's the only time I've seen this particular cover for this particular title. All right, and let's replace our prompt. This is going to be three-word title, which I think I did use that prompt in the last one, I think, in the last time I did this. Okay, we have six books, so we've got two to go. All right, okay. And I've picked, ugh, picking a lot of purple. Not that I mind, that's my favorite kind of skill. So I'll leave that where it is. Okay, and yellow. Move that to yellow, and what does that give me? Oh, interesting, I just had new TBR, and now it's saying old TBR, a book that has been on my bookshelf for way too long and not have been read yet. I have many, let's see which one I should pick. Now, some of you who've watched this channel for a long time might see this choice and get a little frustrated. I'm going with The Last Magician. Yes, 
I think this has been on maybe 10 of my TBRs, and this seems to be the one book that never gets read, but I do really want to read it. It's been compared to The Diviners, which is one of my favorite books of all time. And from what I've heard over the past, probably closing in on two years, is that we're in a in modern day New York and magic is gone for some reason until Esta shows up and she's some kind of talented thief and I heard she's going to do some time traveling to uh, find some special magical artifacts that can restore magic. Like I said, I've only heard good things about this book. Guys, I'm really gonna try. I'm really gonna try to get to it this time. Maybe. All right, we're gonna replace this prompt and then we'll pick our last book for my December TBR. All right, I'm gonna go with a three word title. All right, let's pick our final Skittles to pick our final book. All right, first we're picking red, and then we are picking yellow, which is already, it's already on yellow. So what is this prompt? Ooh, sequel, I need to read a sequel. Now sequel can mean a second book or a third book or a fourth book, but as long as I've read the first book in the series, I need to jump in to either the next one or the next one or the next one. All right, you're gonna have to listen to my explanation because some of you might go, wait a minute, she's cheating, that shouldn't count, but we're gonna let it count. I'm going to go with Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. Yes, technically this is a prequel, I know, I know, but it was made recently or written recently and it comes after Practical Magic, and then what is that other book that was about magic that I just loved? It had, there was two books, and this is the third one to come out. So even though it is not technically after, it's a prequel, the, this, was, this was released third. So I'm going to count it as the third book, and that would count as a sequel. If you are judging me and you're angry, just let me know in the comments. But I really want to get to this book. The Rules of Magic, that was the other one, and that was one of my best books last year. So if you have uh, read Practical Magic or The Rules of Magic, or if you've just seen the movie Practical Magic, you know it's about a family of witches, and they are cursed, the women are cursed that whoever they fall in love with ends up dying because way in the past, a uh, witch in their family was hurt very badly by somebody she loved, and she thought she was going to be helpful and, you know, save the rest of the women in her family by not letting them experience that kind of hurt. But really, it's a horrible curse. So they, you know, every time they fall in love with somebody, something bad happens. So we're going to get a little bit more information and we're going to find out about that witch and why did she put a curse like that on her family. So this is going up against, I think, for Goodreads for one of its, you know, big awards. I don't know which uh, genre or which section of the Goodreads awards for 2020, but it has been nominated and I've really wanted to get to this one. So please let me get away with this one, guys. All right, let's do a quick recap of what I will be reading. I will be reading Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, Instant Karma by Marissa Meyer, Zero Day by Jan Gangzi, This Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada, The Princess Will Save You by Sarah Henning, and Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Menescalco, I'm assuming. And my next video will be a all YA wrap up. I've decided I've read so many books since the summer and not wrapped up any of them except my celebrity book club books. So my next video, I will be telling you all the different YA books that I've read since the summer. There are quite a few and we'll have an all YA wrap up. I'm very excited about it. So I will see you then. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.